This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. Today I wanted to show you our latest project. We're going to call it the, the Cater King Supreme. Now we're calling it the Cater King Supreme because all the features it's got on it. Uh, it's got the two inch thick insulated fire box. There's the grate. This customer wanted his extra long, 30 inch long fire box uh, to accommodate some larger wood pieces. Also, so that we could build the pizza oven over top. The pizza oven's got two racks and it does have a plate underneath so that the fire is not directly on it. The heat source would be the fire box here. Uh, both of these racks slide out. We can put your standard pizza on there or desserts. It's got a little stack on top for venting because you want to vent for temperature control as if you have a box on top of the fire, they get pretty they can get pretty hot. So you got to vent it for the temperature control. You got a thermometer on it. We got a 54 inch long smoker pit with a counterweight. Got tuning plates in it below the tuning plate system. Uh, I want you to notice the full width upper meat rack that we're doing now and the single lower rack. The single lower rack makes it easier if you're putting a whole hog or something on there. And you can remove the upper rack when you want. The cabinet is going to have five rack levels. And it's got the gate between the cabinet and the main cook chamber. Now, it's operated by the winch. Uh, you can raise and lower that gate uh, for times when you want to use the cabinet to cook in. You can raise the gate up to let the heat source into the cabinet, run it as a traditional flow smoker out those cabinet stacks. When you don't want to use the cabinet or just want it to be a warmer, you can close down the gate, open the reverse flow stack over here, then it'll run like a smaller pit. We do that for our customers because they buy a trailer pit, you don't necessarily use the whole thing every time. Uh, matter of fact, you can slide some of the tuning plates over to this side and it'll run like a short, small pit. So you can reduce the amount of fuel you're using when you're not doing a large cook. Uh, notice it's mounted on a tandem axle trailer. This customer got a, we got a 5x14 trailer for it. Uh, custom made for Matt's BBQ pits. We got the grease system here, the ball valve to drain the grease from the smoker. Uh, we got a nice cover over the burner top. This customer wanted to be able to put crawfish boil large pots on it. So we got these high BTU uh, low pressure burners from Gas One. Uh, these put out a lot of heat, but you know, or that low pressure, so you got more, uh, more adjustment, fine tune adjustment there. We've got three small propane tanks down below here on the on the trailer tongue. He wanted a couple of uh, fire extinguishers mounted, and he wanted jacks mounted in the four corners. Uh, sure would make it easy to jack it up in case you ever need to change a tire out. Also, you want to jack it up and put it on blocks, what have you, keep the trailer off off the tires uh, over the years. Uh, we do have he does have a couple large propane tanks here for when he needs it. You probably don't need that much propane, but he wanted to be on the safe side there. Made sure he had plenty. Uh, comes with boxed in LED lights. Uh, we do have some masking tape still over some of the lights. 
when we painted. Uh, we've got a chicken cooker on this corner. The chicken cooker has two, or you you have a choice of having one long one or two short cold trays. I kind of like the one long one to slide out on tracks. Uh, this one has two smaller ones. Whichever way you want to go for how you're wanting to cook is just fine. Uh, we do have a uh, 3 8 thick bottom on this chicken cooker and an uh, extra wall around the sides inside the pit. Uh, the chicken cooker is a four foot long uh, pit. We've got probably about 18 inches of, uh, of space between the coals and the meat grate, the lower grate. Uh, that way you can, uh, you can put wood chunks in with your charcoal and stuff and get the temperature up without burning your meat. We got an upper rack too for baked potatoes, sausage, poppers, all sorts of stuff. Now we call it a chicken cooker because uh, originally for cooking chicken, but honestly you can cook anything in that pit. Brisket, ribs, you name it. Uh, he wanted a gas grill. This is the, uh, the smoking Cajun grill that we installed on here. Uh, we don't make it, but you know, it's just a lot simpler to just buy it and mount it. They make a pretty neat system, which is kind of like the fryer, where it's got the uh, uh, the propane fire going in into two down below here and exhausting out the back. That way, you don't have any of the propane exhaust in what you're cooking. Uh, he's got a Honda generator on it, uh, so he can have a power source uh, when out and about. Uh, they're super quiet run uh, generators and uh, the fryer uh, this is the cajun fryer we mounted here with uh, four baskets i believe it's the 12 quart or 12 gallon i mean there it is there's a lot we can do with this trailer pit model we can uh, we can go longer on the trailer we can uh, substitute some of these items to put wash sinks uh, water tanks etc um, you name it um, just wanted to show you around here give you some ideas what we can do for your project and we call this the uh, cater king supreme it is quite an impressive trailer pit and I uh, hope it gave you a lot of ideas, and we hope to see you soon. This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits.